Balin's video from inside the bus shows several students getting off before Nesbitt closes the bus doors right behind the 14-year-old boy. I couldn't even comprehend how it could happen. Students panic as the bus moves forward for an estimated 20 seconds, dragging the child close to the tires. I was glad he didn't kill him. I was glad he didn't go under the wheels. The boy's mother, Brenda Mays, argues Nesbitt shouldn't have been driving the bus on February 4th. The suit argues the driver had a history of misconduct against children of color dating back to 2017. Something failed. They have a responsibility. When I put my kids, send them off to school, they have a responsibility to make sure they're safe. To prevent getting fired, Nesbitt said he retired three days after the incident. We found him at his home in Hooper. Would you say that you're racist? Not at all. No. Yeah. Look at my dog. He's as black as can be. <laughs> Nesbitt says eight buses were lined up behind his when he warned the students he was moving forward. He argues the incident was staged after he disciplined the boy's brother. I didn't see him in there. If I would have, I would have stopped. In response to the suit, the district said any issues of discrimination are thoroughly investigated. Quote, the Davis School District takes any claims of racial discrimination seriously and does not tolerate any form of racial discrimination in our schools. If they don't tolerate it, why do they tolerate it in this case?